don't panic. Multiply the divisor by a power of 10 and the dividend until you get some normal whole numbers, at least in the divisor. And then make sure you keep your decimals lined up. That's really important. And then you carry on with division like you normally would. Numbers. Multiply all the numbers by 10. That, in effect, moves the decimal over to the right by one space. We talked about that in another video. Linked below. <laughs> so now you've got 102.0 and 546.0, so you might as well just resort to good old 102 and 546. Step one, estimate. Step two, you're going to multiply. So we're gonna have, now 102 goes into 546, boom, five times. So there are gonna be five hundreds and 10 left over. So you're gonna do your subtraction. And what will you be left with? That's right, son, you're gonna be left with 36. <laughs> oh, very good. Now remember, this decimal was here. So the key is to line up your decimals when you do this kind of long division. Estimate, multiply, subtract, bring down. Or a nifty way to remember that sequence is to say, eat more sour bananas. E is for estimate, M is for multiply, S is for subtract, and B is for bring down. Eat more sour bananas. Bring down a zero here. That's what you're looking at. Because this is 546 or 546.0. So you're gonna bring that down here. And keep those decimals lined up. That's so important. 102 goes into 360. How many times? It goes in three times. So three one hundredths and two is gonna give you 306. So we could stop here and say it's about 5.3. We might have to round up though. Shall we continue the division? Let's continue the division. All right, we already did the first part of this long division process with the blocks, and now we're gonna continue. We're going to multiply three by 102, and that's how we got 306. Well, then you subtract, eat more sour. The difference of 360 and 306 is 54. And then you bring down the bananas, because 546 is the same thing as 546.0. Or 0 0.00 you can add as many zeros as you want so bring down the zero and then you just repeat this eat or estimate we already established earlier with blocks that 102 times 5 is 510 so that's why the 5 gives us a good estimate and now once we carry out that multiplication as before we can move on to the next step of subtracting eat more sour the difference of 540 and 510 that's only a whopping 30. oh very more now Eat more sour bananas. You gotta bring down again because you have as many zeros as you want once that decimal is fixed. We're gonna bring down the zero and then we're gonna say, okay, 102. Well, multiples of that would be 204, 306. Ah, it's too big because we're looking at 300. So we're gonna estimate that it only goes in two times. Well, two is less than five. So that's good enough for us to round down and say just 5.35. <laughs> Sharkum! 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 You can be called different names. That's right. Sharkum in different colors. Different kinds of colors. Be sure to subscribe. Watch full length episodes below. And God bless. Let's divide. 2.3 is going to divide into 0.67. Don't get scared. We have to move the decimal place over one space here. We're multiplying by 10, so we do the same over here. And then you just gotta keep your decimals lined up. This is now two, three, or 23 going into 6.7. So move that decimal up here and keep things squared away. 23 goes into 67. Ignore that decimal for now, how many times? Not quite three times, it's just short. It's gonna go in a whole whopping two times. And technically, it's 0.2. All right, so, multiply. Carry out that multiplication, you're gonna get 46. And then you're gonna subtract. And what's left over? 21. And 21 won't be able to be divided by 23. Oh no, what do we do? It's gonna be approximately 
All right, you've got the subtraction step. The difference between 67 and 46 is 21. Just ignore that decimal for now because you already lined up your decimals so you can just press on with eating more sour bananas. Speaking of bananas, you gotta bring down a zero. 6.7 is the same thing as 6.70. Same thing as 6.700. You can add as many zeros as you want. After you've brought down the zero, you need to estimate. I think 23 is gonna go into 210 a whopping nine times. So let's verify that by multiplying it out. 23 by nine, that's 180 plus 27 or 207. So yeah, that works because that's less than 210. So you're gonna subtract, that's the sour step. The difference of 210 and 207 is three. Eat more sour bananas, you gotta bring down another zero. But hey, you're getting close now. This becomes 30 and we know that 23 goes into 30 just one time. Well, that's good enough. Now you can round down because one is less than five. So when you're all said and done, it's approximately 0.29 and Bob's your uncle. And if you're not careful, a shark might come and eat that. All right, let's make sure we press on with our decimals in the right places. We've moved the decimal over two spaces, so we have to do a...